Hello everyone, this is Ripper, and today we are playing Chivalry Medieval Warfare. And on this fine day, I'm going to be showing you grand people how to use this weapon I like to call the cudgel. And the game likes to call it the cudgel. Everyone likes to call it the cudgel. Because that's its name. It's the cudgel. It wrecks faces. Mm. Oh yeah. Pardon me. So, what is the cut? I'm, I'm just kidding. So yeah, I wanted. To, I'm doing this tactics. I don't know if I've actually done a tactics video on the cudgel in the past, but I'm doing this tactics because a lot of people wanted it uh, in my tournament stream last weekend. So I said, sure, why the hell not? And so this is my good old fashioned random ass live commentary tactics that you guys know and love. I don't know if this guy actually wanted to fight me or not. Why aren't you dead yet? There you go. Alright, so, this is the cudgel. It has shit for damage. Absolute shit. Okay, I know these bars don't mean anything anymore. But it does shit, alright? Daggers do more. The thing it has is speed. Speed and a little bit of range. That's what makes it better than daggers. Now, I like daggers because they're stupidly fast and I like face-hugging. However, this thing... Is fun for its sheer speed. People get scared, okay? Real scared. It's really good for face hugging. It's really good for really any mode of fighting you want to do. If you want to stay at a distance, like this guy, I don't want to get too close to this guy, or he is going to mess or excel me to death. As you're seeing him do right now. And as you just saw there, I have the range to do what I just did. I have the range to just poke in and out, and that is one thing that you want to be doing. So, let's let's go let's go through a list here. The first thing you want to do is poke a lot. This is a great weapon for pokes. The pokes are super fast. A lot of people just don't see them coming. They can interrupt most attacks. They're great for reposts. You can literally just poke people to death. It does so little damage, but it's just so satisfying to break someone's face with a poke that tiny. It's great. Uh, also, I should mention, I'm only going to be showing the man-at-arms with the cudgel. I know the vanguard can use it, and the archer can use it. The archer, it's a great archer weapon. Um, it's also a great secondary for vanguard, but it as a, like a, like a main weapon to use for a man-at-arms, it's still secondary, but it's a great main weapon to use if you know how to use it. So, first and foremost, pokes. Pokes are great at lowering your opponent's health, interrupting his attacks, and just making him hate you overall. Alright, so let's see it against an equally fast weapon such as this. So the whole point, basically, of using this weapon is to outspeed your opponent and to outrange him in the fact that if you were using a dagger, you wouldn't be able to hit him. Alright, so here you can see that pokes are kind of not doing enough to really dent this guy. It's denting him just a little, but you need overheads to finish him off. And they are good at that. Overheads deal quite a bit more damage than the pokes with this weapon, and they're very, very effective at it. So, pokes, great for denting an enemy, getting his health just a bit lower, and overheads are great for dealing a final blow, or final few blows. Now, you guys probably see me throwing in some, uh... Throwing in some side swings there. And that's because side swings are really fast with this weapon, first of all, except especially if you accelerate them. And, secondly, they are good for changing the tempo of the game. If all you do is poke, then they'll know exactly what you're doing. Alright, so this is a pretty close battle. The thing is, the quarterstaff is extremely fast. <laughs> it does a lot more damage than this, though. So, the biggest thing about this weapon... Let me reiterate. It does shit for damage. Okay? Especially if you're poking. But, it's so fast that you can generally deal with that. 
ac actually, it does a lot more damage to knights and vanguards against uh, men-at-arms. It's not nearly as effective because it's a blunt weapon. Nope. So there. You just gotta take the momentum. When you take the momentum with this weapon, you win. Alright, I, I was on the topic of something. So yeah, overheads do a lot of damage. Um, it does a lot more damage to uh, knights and vanguards. So let's try it against a dagger. The dagger is actually going to be faster than this weapon. But you have the range advantage, so you can get to them before they even get to you. You can actually, like, totally weave in and out of their parries, too. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, very, very nice. I should have been able to weave out of that parry. However, again, the dagger's just a teensy bit faster. And it deals a lot more damage to me. A lot more damage to, uh... Uh, man-at-arms. Yeah, yeah, and archers. Alright, no, not, not that, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so against a knight, however... Shit just wrecks. It takes way too many hits to be a really, a really explicitly good weapon, but it's just so fun. Okay, uh, let me actually put a shield on my back just so I can get to it later. I am a round shield guy. Yes? Okay. Alright, what other things? Alright, accelerated slashes. Let me show you guys this. So... Also, reposts. Repost everything. You want to be careful with your accelerates, though, because they can get a little out of hand. <laughs> but that, that was just so much acceleration. Absolutely ridiculous. Side note, again, against Man-at-Arms, you are going to have the hardest time with this thing. Simply because of their extreme speed and their ability to dodge. Um, can you not, sir? Oh, that range! I think this actually has a higher range than the quarterstaff, funnily enough, except the poke. Um, Alright, so uh, let me show you guys some more of those slashes. So, the thing about this weapon, it doesn't have as many specific, weird, crazy tactics that a lot of other weapons have. Because it's so simple. It's a freaking bat. It's a club, basically. It's so easy to get right, but so easy to get wrong at the same time. You just need to love it. And care for it. And show it that it loves you. I mean, that you love it. Ooh, just got barely out of range for a moment there. Oop. I am out of stamina, but he should get within my range circle very shortly. Oh. <laughs> oh, very nice, Toasty! Nice. So again, very difficult to use against men-at-arms. Let me fight a knight, though, because as an... I would honestly carry this a Norse around to deal with men-at-arms. It's a lot easier. Um... Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me fight a knight again. Oh. Because it should be a lot easier. Even while he's using a sword. <laughs> that range! It's just, it's insane, man. It's just absolutely crazy. Okay, so... Showed you guys all three basic attacks of the weapon. Let me show you guys it with a shield. So, with a shield, it becomes a little easier against a man-at-arms because you can deal with his some of his faster weapons. And it gets just utterly fast. It's just retardedly fast. You can do that. You can do a freaking triple combo in, like, light speed. Now, I actually would not recommend using this with a shield. Um, a lot of people will want to, and I will actually tell you to do it because it's awesome. But the problem is, 
It'll teach you kind of bad habits, and the thing is, this is a fast weapon. You need to be able to just react on your toes. And that's the problem. Right there, I was a bit slow because of the shield. I was kind of thinking, maybe I want to block that. Nope, okay, I'm going to hit him. Nope, I'm going to miss. So I did, in fact, fail with that as I was using the shield. However, due to its sheer retarded speed, it's just, it's just effective in and of itself. So, your opponent panic parry is just on instinct. But again, it makes you complacent. A lot of people won't have this problem, and to them I say definitely use the shield. It's just so fun. If you're using this weapon, you're just trying to have fun. You're not trying to do anything productive. Uh, you would use the short sword if you were trying to be productive like this. Alright, but like... And he's out of stamina. Also, it's really easy to hide your attacks. Oh, man. You caught me there, Toasty. Very nice. It's really easy to hide your, your stabs, uh, not your overheads. Because what you can do, you can do this. So your opponent doesn't actually realize you're attacking until it's almost too late. You want to fight, Lone? Let's fight. I want to beat someone with the shield. I want to show you guys that it is... It is, like, for some people, it is slightly more effective. You? Let's go, noob. It is very effective at dealing it with drags. Also, combo the fuck out of this weapon. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but combo the ever-loving hell out of it. Uh-oh. That was just a failure on my part. I should have hit him several times before he stamped me out. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah. Hey, bud. Yeah. Beautiful thing about this weapon is chasing becomes so easy. Shit! But that kind of, that kind of class just kind of wrecks everything with its utter negligence. When that kind of thing happens, just do this. Hey, <laughs> your dad I'm recording loan? Oh, that's cute. Well, I am. You can hide these stabs just so easily and make your opponent so utterly paranoid. Shut up, phone. God damn. Oh, man. Quarterstaff range is just retarded. Alrighty. Out of stam, are you? Woo! <laughs> We're both out of stamina. Oh, that was a mistake. Faints with this weapon, if you are into fainting, are really powerful. Ooh, very nice, Toasty. So yeah, again, with the shield, it's just... It's so weird to use for me. A lot of people will probably have better results. But I myself, I just can't make it work. Hello, Charnel. Would you like to fight? Let's fight. Okay. So, this is, uh... This is interesting. He's using a broadsword, an actually viable weapon. However, he is panic parrying. Positioning. Super important with this weapon, if you didn't realize. He's already out of stamina. He's blocking everywhere. I'm just poking the ever-loving shit out of him. You see, this weapon doesn't lower your health a lot, so it's kind of stupid to block it when you have a lot of health. You should just take the hit, unless you're about to attack, in which case you get flinched. Um, sure thing, Toasty. Okay, this was meant to be a very short one. Let's try to actually beat the dagger wielder here. Utilize our superior range. Okay, no, he's going to pull out the quarterstaff. Mm. Gotcha! Those accelerated slashes are insane. Alright, I think one more fight. Actually, fuck it, let's wait a minute for the game to end. Uh, yeah. Let's go, Lone. Alright, let me beat this guy again. Sans shield.
Oh, fucking hell. Very nice, Lone. Very nice. Mm. Like the dagger, this weapon is very susceptible to uh, strafing. So if you run around someone or away from someone, they will get fucked up. You will get fucked up if you're trying to use this weapon. A way to deal with that is just to constantly follow them. So I want to try to do this to this guy. Super newbie, because he likes doing it a lot. Yep, okay. You need to make them very scared. That's the only way to do it. Because it makes you complacent. There we go. Okay, it worked. Awesome. I'm a winner. Yeah, you just gotta face hug like hell to deal with those kind of people. And I went 17 to 9. Actually, my best dual record in a long time. So, good fights to everyone in this server. And, um... I hope you guys learned something. Again, just a summary. Stabs are great for denting someone. They're the fastest attack. You can hide them easily when you're using a shield. And I would just use them liberally to flinch people, interrupt their attacks. Overheads are great for finishers, dealing lots of damage. And uh, slashes, you want to accelerate as much as possible. Just spin around and it'll do the rest of the work for you. It is best used against vanguards and knights. Not very effective against a man-at-arms. I would swap weapons to your Norse or whatever your primary blade is to deal with them. And yeah, it's a really simple weapon and it's really fun to just play around with if you're not in the mood for a dagger like I usually am. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. As always, like, favorite, subscribe. Have a grand day and I shall see you kind people next time.